Hey everybody, thanks for tuning in to this video. You know, I tell you, God is good. And I know this sounds cliche, but He is good and good all the time. No matter what you may be going through, God is able. So, you know, today that's what we're going to talk about. We're going to talk about trusting in God. Because I tell you, this is a struggle for a lot of people. You see, everybody that I know who has a relationship with God, they know they love God. But it's not always so easy to trust in God when you're going through a circumstance or a situation that's testing or challenging your faith. And you know, the enemy does that really well, right? He, he challenges your faith. Because a lot of times when things are good, uh, and, and, and the money's good, and the friendships are good, the relationships are good, you know, it's easy to trust in God because life's good. But what about when you go up against a circumstance? You see, that's where the enemy comes in and challenges your faith. But you have to remember what the scriptures say about trusting in God. Uh, one of the scriptures that I love about this, that, that deal with this, is Proverbs 35, which reads, Trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not on your own understanding. You know, that, that scripture is so key, right? So key, in fact, that it's a wisdom key today. A wisdom key tells us lean not to your own understanding. Because a lot of times when you put your understanding on a situation or try to figure out how you're going to get through this, what you can do to get out of this, right? Or what you can do to fix it or make it right or better things, whatever the case may be. You take God out of the factor and you have to not do this on your own merit, on your own strength. You've got to see God's way of it. And that might mean you have to go into prayer. You have to just meditate on the word of God and seek God's face on this and trust him every step of the way. So it's not about how you want it to come out, but it's about how God got it and how God is going to have it come out for you. Uh, let's talk about another scripture that I think is so key when learning to trust God or putting your trust in God. Let's go to Psalm 56 verse 3 and that reads when I am afraid I put my trust in you wow how many of us are so afraid of how things are going to turn out we don't know the end result see that's the thing with us being human right and finite you know what it's simple we don't know the end result and because you don't know the end result that's where you get the confusion that's where you become the uh, person who tries to take matters into their own hand. But let's go over a wisdom key for this scripture. The wisdom key for this scripture teaches us, if you fear the results, you are not trusting in God. Listen, I'm here to tell you that fear not. God has got your back. Which leads me to the next scripture that I want to cover today. And that is Psalm 31 verse 4 which reads but I trust in you Lord I say you are my God you know what here's the last here's the last wisdom key for you believe that you belong to God and not only believe it but speak it and watch things start turning around in your life because that's what it's all about trusting in God you see you don't need to see the end to know that it's going to be well, you have to trust God for your end. Because all things work out for those who love the Lord.